Bank Negara has raised the overnight policy rate by 25 basis points to 3.25%, the first hike in three and a half years as economic growth remains steady. The central bank says its Monetary Policy Committee decided to normalise the degree of monetary accommodation. At the same time, the committee also recognises the need to preemptively ensure that the stance is appropriate to prevent the build-up of risk that could arise from interest rates being too low for a prolonged period of time. At the current level of the OPR, Bank Negara says the monetary policy stance remains accommodative. With the hike, the floor rate of the corridor for the OPR has been raised to 3%, while the ceiling rate is now at 3.5%. The news provided a boost to banking stocks such as Public Bank, which hit a record high of 21 ringgit and 20 cent. Meanwhile, the ringgit strengthened at last look to 3.8855 against the US dollar. Sancha says there is still room for the inflow of foreign funds into Malaysia's equity market. Its macro strategist Mayang Mishra says the emerging market assets are being supported by the expected flattening in the US yield curve, which will lead to continued strong inflows into the region. This is evident as foreign buying of local equities continued for the fourth week running last week, although questions have been raised on its sustainability. As for the ringgit, Mishra thinks that the currency is one of the best to own today and is one of its top picks for the Asian forex. The ringgit is currently trading to an 8% to 10% discount on the 10-year yield average against the dollar and Mishra expects it to continue appreciating. In contrast, the dollar has been depreciating at a strong pace. The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, or MACC, has remanded an executive with a Datu Sri title for a probe into the proposed Penang Undersea Tunnel project. According to Bernama, the 62-year-old man is a chairman in an engineering consultancy outfit. He is believed to have a hand in preparing false claims to the Penang state government for feasibility studies of three major roads and a tunnel worth more than 305 million ringgit. He was detained at the MACC headquarters on Wednesday evening when he gave his statement. It is reported that the individual's firm was once involved in various mega projects. These include the construction of a bridge in Penang, a bus terminal in the federal capital, and upgrading of a state airport. He is the fourth person to be detained by MACC in the undersea tunnel project probe. AirAsia shares resumed their upsurge today, boosted by an announcement by sister company AirAsia X. Earlier today, AAX said executives Tony Fernandez and Kamarudin Maranun intend to deal in its shares during the company's close period before the carrier announces its fourth quarter results. AirAsia rose to a high of 4 ringgit 27 cent before closing at 4 ringgit 21 cent. The stock has risen by some 70% over the past 12 months. Meanwhile, AAX's shares hit an intraday high of 40 cent before ending the day at 39 and a half cent. As of January 24, Kamarudin, who is AAX's Group CEO, owns an 8.14% stake in a long-haul carrier. Co-Group CEO Fernandez holds a 2.1% direct interest. Both are non-independent executive directors in the firm. Aeon Malaysia and Honest Bee have inked an MOU to form an alliance that aims to tap consumers' demand for home grocery delivery services. Retailer Aeon Malaysia says that the alliance with Honest Bee will allow them to develop new services that match rapidly changing customer demand. The collaboration stems from the growing trend of online purchase pattern and a desire to innovate its offering to enhance value for Malaysians. Following the launch of this new service at Aeon Mid Valley, its MD Shinobu Washisawa says the retailer will closely monitor the feedback and demands from its customers. It will also consider expanding this service in the region. 